Victorians were obsessed with this color that was quite literally to die for. In 1775, the revolutionary Shields Green was developed. It was a bright and attractive green that was unlike anything else. Prior to its development, green fabrics were very difficult and expensive to make, and thus were a symbol of wealth. In this 1630s portrait of Anne Croft, she's wearing a green silk gown, which lets you know that she had some coin. The invention of Shields Green made green fabric more widely available, but at a cost. This new hue was arsenic-based, and as we all know, arsenic is a known poison. It was also pretty unstable and was prone to easily fading or oxidizing. So, in 1814, Paris Green was invented to improve on Shields Green. It was a deeper, more emerald color and was longer lasting. However, like Shields Green, it degraded with moisture and became arsine gas. Not good. In the 19th century, green was all the rage, and these dyes were used in everything from wallpaper to food coloring to fabrics. Women loved the way that their brilliant green dresses glimmered under the new gas lamps that lit up the night. And I don't blame them. I mean, it is a gorgeous color. And Queen Victoria wearing emerald green fashions only increased the popularity of this color. So, with arsenic in the wallpaper on the walls of their homes, in their food, and on their bodies, it's no surprise that people were getting very sick. Arsenic is not only toxic, but it has known carcinogenic effects which means that it may increase your risk of cancer. Newspapers printed warnings about the damaging effect of the dyes, as seen in this 1862 cartoon depicting the arsenic waltz as the new dance of death. But factory workers were the most at risk. This 1859 illustration from a French medical journal details the effects of exposure to arsenic dyes to hands. In 1861, there was much publicity surrounding the death of 19-year-old Matilda Schuer, who worked in London dusting artificial flowers with toxic Shields Green. Her final illness was horrible. The whites of her eyes turned green, her fingernails turned green, she vomited green, and she told her doctor that everything she looked at was green. An autopsy revealed that the arsenic that she had inhaled at work and touched over and over again throughout the day had reached her stomach, liver, and lungs. This 1860s gown from the Toronto Metropolitan University Fashion Research Collection tested positive for arsenic, as did these 1840s silk satin booties from the Bata Shoe Museum. By the 1870s, people were aware of the color green's killer reputation and it started to fall out of fashion. It was not until World War I that truly safer and more stable green dyes became available. And today, I can wear this green shirt without fear of getting arsenic poisoning.